all right hey guys so in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to create um, a weather command a weather where you track the weather um, so yeah let's get started so first I so you're gonna need an API API key um, I already have mines listed I'll show you where to get your API key in the description but let's get started so first let's um, like always let's const um, message message embed equals require discord.js okay and now let's do well this is mine So first we're always going to start, since we're using an API, we're going to always start with this. So if args, um, this is not equal to args, so if they don't enter anything besides the command, we're just going to return this. So we're going to put a return here so nothing else executes, so it just returns this message only. Return message dot channel, channel dot, can I spell? Send message that channel that send. What am I going to send? Uh, please enter a city. Okay. So then, if we do this now, see how it updates. I, in my last video, I showed you how to install NodeMod so you don't have to keep restarting the bot. So if I go right here, if I do M for weather, see it says please enter a city because that's all I have. I didn't just put the command. If I run this weather and then something here, it's not gonna give us an output because I just only state it if there's no if there's um just a command and no other words we're gonna just return. So that's why it's not showing anything else. So now we're gonna make a constant. Oops, what did I do here? Okay. We're gonna do const URL equals and then I'm gonna get this URL, we're gonna put back ticks, and then I'm gonna put this link in the description. We're gonna use this this uh, open weather map. So we're gonna get this one right here, this API call, and and then we'll put this weather right here. You guys could use other links. I'm just gonna show you with the city for now. I could make another video with this city, state, the country, but so let's. You know. Okay, so right here for me, I have API key stated, so it's gonna be API key, and then I have to put. You have to put money sign if you want to call it in front of this so this is the link and I'm just make this smaller for now so the link is const let's just do https slash slash okay so the api I mean, the api is https api open weather map or data and then put put right here put args and then app id and then api key so I have my API key defined in my bot config.json, and then I just API, and then API that. So I set API key to API that API key, because that's what it is in my bot config. So then now we're gonna just we're just gonna define something. So we're gonna do let response in city, and then we're gonna run a try catch. So we're gonna do try response equals await. Oh, I have to use Axios. Make sure you guys install Axios. So let's make this smaller. Let's make let's just make this full screen for now. Okay, so and then we're gonna do const axios equals require axios. You gotta run that right here. And then the command, you can just open up a new term open up a new terminal. You can do npmi axios. You're gonna get this error because I don't have access installed. And then now, we're missing a catch right here, so it's gonna give you an error. And now that should work. Boom. That, 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 that should work, see? You have to run the try catch, you have to put a catch. It's telling you to put a catch. So we're gonna do let response equals, you know, with access that get URL. And now we have to, so we're gonna do city equals response.data. 
Council Log City. But uh, let's just do this for now. Then we're gonna do a catch. So we're gonna run a return here. And then we're gonna say message.channel.send. Let's say couldn't let's say couldn't find that sit. Let's just say that. Okay. And then we could do console console.log city if you like. But I, I already have it remembered, so we don't have to run that. Um, and then now we can just run it in bed. So const embed equals new message embed. And then now we're gonna do dot set title. We're gonna set title to let's just do city dot name because it's gonna be the name of the city you entered. And then now let's set the thumbnail. Dot set thumbnail. So the link we're gonna use for the images, it's right here. I'll put this this link right here. Okay. So we're gonna put this in back ticks. And then you see where it says 10D. 10D, we're gonna do city. We're gonna change this. Put a put this right here. And then we're gonna do city that weather. City that weather first dot icon. And then now that should return us. It should return us a thumbnail. So that is like the weather. That's how the weather is. So if it's raining, it's gonna put like a raindrops. If it's cloudy, it's gonna put a cloud as the thumbnail. So then we can do we can set a description. Dot set, dot set description. And then we do city dot weather. And then we do city dot weather. And then dot description. So let's just message.channel and send this. Message.channel and send embed. So let's see what we have right now. Okay. Oh, I have to add an await to this. That's why it's giving me a line. Await. Oh, Alright. So now let's put this right here. Open Discord. See, as you can see, I have node mods, so it just loads up automatically. So then we can just do M weather. I'm going to test this out. And it's going to say, please enter a city. M weather. And then now I'm gonna just enter a city that doesn't exist. So like this. Then it should say couldn't find that city. And it doesn't give you an error because you returned this right here in the catch. If you didn't have a return here, let's say if we remove this, if we remove this and and run it again, you're gonna see we're gonna get errors. See? We're gonna cannot read properly. So we have to add that our return here. So it just returns that. Oh, I don't know. And then now it's still weather that does a city that doesn't exist. So Let's do Phoenix. Because if I then look see, in the mirror, it's just few clouds. Winner, and it's a cloud face, right here. Skin don't get and then now we have all this data returned right here. Because I, I count to log it. So no. now we're just going to add some fields. Yeah, we can boy, do name. Not to compare, but uh, we can do current weather. Or we can do current temperature. And then we can do, we can add a value. So value, let's see what the current temperature is. I'm sorry, mom. Oh, I forgot to ask. I was something. just having some fun. So, wait, what is this? Follow with my dreams and my. Okay. I forgot to add something to the um, to right here. So we have to add. See, as you can return right now, it's not in Fahrenheit or Celsius. So we have to add and the units. I believe units equals. Imperials? Imperial, I think. I think that should work. I think that's the command. And then we can do the current weather is. Let's do. Where's the. Okay, city.main.temp. And then now, I don't. I forgot how to do the. So I'm gonna just get. Fahrenheit. Logo. I spelled that completely wrong. <laughs> Not low Wait, what? Alright, our Fahrenheit symbol. So we're gonna paste this right here. So then now if we do this, if we run a 
missing something. What am I missing? What am I missing? <laughs> that line, what line is this? 33. Huh? The value? There wasn't an error, I just, <laughs> there literally wasn't even an error. I don't know, okay. So now let's run this. And then now you can see, it give us the temperature in Phoenix. You can see it's 98 degrees Fahrenheit. I use Fahrenheit because I'm from the US. Uh, you can change, you can change to Celsius if you want, but I'm from US. So then now we're gonna add, you can add inline true if you want. So we can do it inline, inline true. Now, that'll put other fields in the same line. That's what inline true is for. Let's see what else can we do. We can do so the weather. Like if it's raining or not. So I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna just put name weather value. Let's just do city dot zero. Feels like so name feels like a value we can do city dot main dot temp no not feels like is what it is that feels like and then we can add this Fahrenheit we can add this Fahrenheit symbol then we can add this line true. And then now we can add, let's see, name. We can add the highest. So like what the highest temperature of the day is gonna be. So then that value is gonna be oops, the value. So it's city dot main dot wait. Oh, the highest, yeah, yeah. true and then we can just copy and paste this make sure you add it make sure you add, add in a comma so and then we can do temp temp underscore min because this is going to be the lowest so what the lowest is the lowest of the day and then let's see what else we can add so you could add the sunrise and the sunset but the only thing is it's in unix sign and you can convert it I just don't feel like converting it right now, simply because I don't feel like writing it. Um, the video is already long enough. You guys can convert it if you would like. 13 minute long video, I don't feel like converting it. So, I will show you what it does. I will show you, um, so we can do name, sunrise, and then we can do, it's, uh, what is it? It's value. City dot sis dot sunrise, I believe that is. In my true. And then we can do dot sunset. I believe that's I believe that's what it is. And then so yeah, um I believe that's it. So if we run this right now, run this right now you can see look it gives you what is it so it's a few it's a few clouds in the sky right now right here current temperature 98 degrees fahrenheit clouds the west so it's currently oh i feel hmm. yeah you, you just do weather yeah. i don't know uh weather oh, i can add this in line i can add this in line true Sunrise 
current weather. Oh, that's why I don't want to do that. <coughs> yeah, I'll just take this off. You guys can add an empty, empty uh, fields if you want, just something like that. Unix time, Unix times to time to yeah, just convert the Unix time. That's it. That's the command. Um, yeah. Or you, you can ask. You can also add this. You can add backticks to this. Oops. You can add backticks to this, and then you can do weather, weather in, and then you can do something along something along the lines of this. See weather in Unix. I'll put the command so I'm gonna upload my whole bot this whole test bot to github so you guys can fork it you guys can clone it make sure you guys give the repo a like um, what else am I gonna do and yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video have a good one